Priebus is brought to you in partnership with Magnum Tomic Wine Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fiwi Culture, CB Chicken, The Better Tasting Chicken, Bad Dog Sausages, Bigger Better Butter, and by Kingston 62 Rum. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Milky Milk and I am your host for this week's episode of Predis, your number one entertainment show. Today we're coming at you from Devon House in Kingston, the home of the most delicious tasting ice cream. We have a lot in store for you in this week's episode, so without further ado, Predis. In 2015, he won the Magnum King of Dancehall competition. Devon the Doctor is also a Grammy nominee. In December, he'll be dropping his new EP, The Freshman, and we caught up with him at Devon House to find out more. Welcome to the show, welcome to the show. Yeah, man, Tell me up. what's been popping for you. What's the pre since 2015? All right, the pre since 2015, um, where should it start? Um, music, mm -hmm. then took a break to study. Study then what? Music. Study music? Yeah, That's so the business, yeah, the of, business music. of music. Yeah, because a lot of people are always in the industry and them always in the in and the industry drop off because yeah. they don't know. Them have them brother, them uncle as their manager. Mm -hmm. Them have their mother doing the finances and then everything falls apart. So yeah. where did you go and learn the business of music? Um, books. I buy books, I check the internet, watch interviews with successful people before me from the 80s come all the way up because the 80s are really my favorite time of music. When I got introduced to, to more label execs and producers on the international level, I realized that in meetings I never really knew what the conversation were about. You know, so like me, you know, I like to be in control. I might not have to be the smartest in the room, but I don't want to be the dumbest. You know, so I just kind of took a little break in terms of being out on the stage, performing, writing and everything, because the business and other things take time. Tell Prepare. us about the EP. Do you have any features on it or is it just um, like Just straight dev in the doctor. Straight dev But this is like an updated version. You know, normally you What's know What's the, the vibe like? Normally you know the the bambi deng deng, the bambi deng deng. Which it's it good, however, you realize now that people locally could sing it, but on the international scene, they like what I was saying, as in it sound good, but they couldn't sing it back to me. Right. So now you get a bit slower, but still keep the Jamaican mm -hmm. thing in it. So this EP is just basically the, the, the first of an EP series I'm about to release leading up to my debut album. So this is the first Freshman. Fine for me. Me like it's a pretty girl ride for me. Pretty. What do you think it takes to cross over an artist? I think number one, they really love Jamaicans. Being Jamaican sell. That's number one. So if you can inject your Jamaicanness in that market, I think it will work. However, you still have to kind of transcend boundaries in terms of language. Face pretty, pretty, you just know me see. Truly me, just waiting for the perfect opportunity for you give me. So with this whole controversy coming up with Spice yeah. going over to Canada to headline the Pride Parade. Yeah. Tell me about the challenges. Um, <laughs> well, the challenge is just that everybody here, you bash this person, that person and everything. But when it actually comes to the song, you're not going to hear them sing it. Because all of them did sign from 2007. You know, and apart from that, it's like the world, you have to understand, so like I said in the... In 10 years' in, time, the world is? <laughs> the world is going to... Ah, okay, let me say it this way. We as Jamaicans here in the culture, we might not accept certain things. However, especially in the music industry, these are people where there's nothing, you better leave the industry. You have to link with them. We are not saying you must go and accept this person lifestyle, they don't have to accept it. However, you're in the same space, at least respect them. Mm -hmm. And once they respect you, that's it. Not a lot of people finish a competition like Magnum, mm -hmm. King of Dancehall competition, and become a Grammy nominee. Like yeah. A lot of people were shocked. They were like, oh, 
Devin just come on the scene and he it was is, is hmm. nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. What what are the steps that you took to be a Grammy nominee? A lot um, of a lot of artists don't yeah. know that it's just a simple thing of paying dues and yeah. being the member of certain organizations. Yeah, and that's the thing. A lot of a lot of albums here they are not being released properly by some distributors where I say oh, everybody come say they are distributed, everybody come say they are producers. The moment a man get a laptop, a big musician, however you have to understand, same like I said, the business side of music, you have to know how to submit your, your album. There is, you can go and you can register to be a part of the voting team. So everybody can participate. However, a lot of Jamaicans just look and chew them, say, naturally it's the Marleys and all of these big names up there, they feel like them cannot. You can do it. It's just that the Marleys understand the business and them have people around them who understand the business that knows, yo, when an album is released, just submit it. You as an artist, producers, once you're in the music industry, you can actually register and be a part of the voting. So this project, we kind of inject back. So I'm a doctor, and so we kind of inject back like the dancing in the night. And like I said, we still have a kind of crossover. So, for example, UK, there's a song on it, Easy There. The tune there, uh -huh. it have that UK drill kind of vibe, or whoever, grime kind of vibe. I grime love is, UK drill. And the grime music. Remember our thing that also, if you listen of to course, grime. We, we, we created a lot yeah. of sounds out there in Hip hop, are we give the world all of them music here. Though. So it's like we know. We are going to say, all right, we give you this and you make it be this fruitful thing, just give me back to an apple and it. You know? And we kind of come and, like I said, just put in back some more dance hall in it and just put it out. And like I said, it's just the first of what's to come. When is it dropping? December 3rd. And where can we find you on social media? Every single year, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Devin the Doctor. Yeah, and me is a youth now with. The moment something new come out on the internet where you can put your presence, yes. even if I'm not active on it as yet, you can go and maybe put up a one picture here and there. So anywhere spell my name correctly though, D-E-V-I-N-D-I-D-A-K-T-A. Every single on the internet you find me. All right. Well, thank you for being here today, All right, my bless darling. Up. And good luck for the future. Yeah, man. Bless up. Boom, shalom, right. gosh, man. Free this. I made this. Yeah. That was Devon the Dr. Pete. Please support his EP, The Freshman, when it comes out on December 3. We take a break and when we come back, we meet a new artist and much more. Ray and Neville, Pui Culture. Yo! New beginning, we winning, so share our spirit where you're living, yeah. Share it. I make we all at one bar, you don't know we come from far. From far, easy. Anytime we read Pui Country, we are rum, it's a fi come with we. No matter with the bad vibes, who are we rum, a celebration time. We are A Pui Country, we are rum. Make we sure, yeah. We are Jamaican culture. We are never overproof, we just a Pui Culture.